Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Pokemon White No Stab Nuzlocke. I hit a button by accident. My bad. What else is new? All right, let's get a look at our team again. This is a quick recap from last episode. What a moo. So excited for Digor. Twy, Carablast, and Tickle. What were the attacks we gave Digor again? Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. All right. Oh, wait. I should check my potions. That is not potions. That is Pokemon. Come on, me. Twenty-four, got it. We're good. I think the next thing to do is to challenge the gym, but I'm gonna go make sure. Nope, apparently I can just walk right in here. I don't really want to teach Surf the Drud again, but I think I'm gonna have to, because while I could get away with giving it to a water Pokemon and just never using it. Nuzlocke rules are you're supposed to try and give it to a Pokemon you have first. Digor's with us. And at least it could use it without getting beat. So like, while its special attack is uh, Poo Poo, I'm still going to give it Surf for the sake of... Um, still going to give it Surf for the sake of being able to travel and stuff. We can always get rid of it later. Oh wait, is this a different place? Uh, I need to make sure this is a different location. I don't think it is because we didn't get the name to drop. Like right here it says Isira City. This is Dragon Spiral Tower. And this doesn't change. So I'm assuming that's still Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh, well, like I said, we need to give Dredigan Surf anyway. Because it's the only one on our team that can use Surf without being disqualified. Defense isn't great. Speed is better than expected. Special defense is good. That's how I like my Dredigan, though. Special defense and uh, attack. So we'll just have to try not to get him unnecessarily hit it is a him right yeah all right since there's nothing else to do i guess we take on the gym actually before we take on the gym, there is something we can do. We can go explore the uh, marsh here. This marsh area. I think, anyway. Like I said, it's been a while since I played black and white, even though it is my favorite. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. New area, Route 8. What do we got at Route 8? Another shot at a Palpatode. Now, this is where Dredigan's going to be perfect, uh, Digor. Because it doesn't know an ice move, and even with the rain boost, our special attack is so bad, there should be no way in heck that we one-shot this. Oh, boy. Nice, nice. Uh, Surf. All right, give it one more surf, and we should be able, especially with that aqua we're ringing, and we should be able to try and catch this thing. Ultra ball, go. Nice. 
now I have to try and come up with a name out of this. Out of Palpatone. Palpia. I don't know. Yeah, Palpia. Why not? Not Pib. Palpia. Alright, so we've got another Pokemon on the team. Heal up uh, Digor here. Get some trainer battles in on this route before we deal with the gym. Alright, a Cub Chew. Let's go with Revenge. Alright, nice job there, Wada. Nice job. Got it down low. Uh, Grass Knot. Alright, Wada's level 44. Maractus. Okay. Not ideal for us with it being grass, but we've got Mega Horn. Alright, that's fine, as long as it's not, like, speed. That's fine with me. Just dig. I know it's not very effective, but... It, unless it had an earthquake or something, we should be fine anyway. Are you kidding me? All right, it's going to be one of those fights, huh? Go, Digor. Digor does give us something that resists uh, grass and electric, finally. Crunch. All right, speed went up. That's not great. As long as its special attack doesn't go up, though, I think we're going to be okay. If anything, it's going to run out of Giga Drain eventually. Crit, of course. Good riddance. Good job, Digor. Alright, there's a Palpitoad coming in. We should be able to just grass knot it. There we go. Some scary moments, but we made it through. All that, and we got a Petra Berry. Thanks. All right. Uh, heal up Wada. Definitely heal up, Di uh, heal up Digor. Up. 
Poison Barb, that would be good if we had any poison attacks. A Stunfisk sighting. Grass Knot. All right, Grass Knot again. All right. Grass Knot a third time. All right, try it this turn. take a while to get to that Pokeball. Let's get Digor out there. Fine by me, free turn of Bulldoze. I uh, don't like it getting a critical hit. Nice job, Digor. Sludge Bomb. Now that is one. It's a special move, but that is something I can get behind. We gotta have something that can learn Sludge Bomb, right? Well, Drudigan can, but it'd be another special attack. Good to know, though. To say, if I gotta worry about Pokemon counters anyway, I might as well just go straight down. And it's only level 17 when it's a Surf. Alright. Wider uh, range of levels. Easy win for Wada. Almost made it to the next trainer. I'm gonna try grass knotting this. Yeah, it should be fun. All 
I get Moo out there for Ducklet. Charge Beam. <laughs> there you go. We got facade. That should be better than some of the attacks my Pokemon know. Uh, none of those would really work with facade. Like they're not physical attackers. Almost made it to them. We'll stop at the Umbrella Girl because I don't want to accidentally... Tr I don't think I will trigger the Bianca battle yet. But just in case... And after we battle it, this guy and the other Umbrella Girl, we'll go back up to where we saw the Pokemon Ranger standing in the corner and get all the trainers up in that area. All right, uh, Grass Knot. Not too worried about it. I mean, I'll be honest, it did more damage than I thought it was going to do. All right, Blue Basculin. All right, we've defeated that one. All right, we need a potion. Oh, this must be someone that just gives you something. Alright, Grass Knot this Palpitude. I don't think the Bianca battle triggers until after the, um, all the stuff with Dragon Spiral Tower. I could be wrong. Another shell map. Nope, that is a trainer. Okay. Mola. Yeah, let's Mega Hornet. Get a bunch of raw damage on it. Yeah. Of course we're confused. Why not? Yep, that's about what I figured.
Let's try again. Much better. Alright, a heat rock, okay. Let's heal up just in case I'm wrong about the Bianca thing. Oh, well, I mean, we're fine. Nope, Team Plasma's blocking the way, so no uh, Bianca yet. Almost made it through without an encounter. We got Pokemon Ranger over here as well as some uh, another area to explore. Almost, almost made it through there. All right, Pokemon Ranger, let's see what you got. Let's see here. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Revenge. Revenge again. And there we go. Level 45 for Wada. We cannot learn Aqua Tail because this is a no stab Nuzlocke. Let's give Wada a break here. Yeah, we'll do that for now, so if we have a surprise double battle, we don't have to throw Digor in there right away. Like I said, more trainers. We see a guy in the bottom right there before this battle started. All right, Fisherman Damon, what do you what do you got here? All right, Basculin, Charge Beam. Uh, 
All right, we got the boost. Not gonna help us much against Stunfisk, but we still have our nightmare strategy for Stunfisk. Fine by me. Free free defense girl. All right, uh nightmare. Right, get Digor out there while it's sleeping. Whatever. Let's see what Surf does to it. I mean, that wasn't awful. That was awful. Let's see where Crunch is by comparison, though. About the same, really. Alright, Digor takes out the Stun Fisk. I don't like how often things are getting critical hits against Digor, though. I'm going to say no to revenge on Digor. Just because we've already got that with Samurott. Shame I don't have like energy ball yet. That would be so funny if that was energy ball right there. Alright, Max survives. That means we just got some money. That's all. Battle me, Pokemon Ranger. Alright. I have a couple ways to deal with you now. Got the special attack boost. Got it again. All right. We are going to switch to uh, Wada for this one. Of course we missed, of course. It'll probably be a crit or something. Well, now we're in a scary spot, Wada, because you couldn't land your attack. Crunch. I 
Oh, great. Special attack went up. That's the one thing we didn't want to go up. Come on, something else. All right, I think we're going to beat it before it gets a chance to hurt us. All right. Scary moment, but we made it through. All right, we'll just crunch you this turn. All right, there's that defense drop. Crunch again. And we'll use Shadow Claw to finish it off. Gore's at 36. All right, heal everybody up. One step into the water. All it took. I'm going to swap these because... Moo is better for, like, specific situations. It's interesting what they consider water and not water. Like, see, um, Mu wouldn't have been able to fight this thing. <coughs> Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw again. Surf to finish it off. This way, there should be, I was going to say, a couple more trainers to fight. Alright, max potion. Somehow made it through there.
Vanillish. Not what Digor wants to see. I'm a okay with that. All right, uh, revenge. Looks like we're hitting the time of day where uh, I'm gonna have to turn some lights on here uh, <laughs> for my next recording. All right, revenge. There goes the vanillish. All right. Yeah, leave water in. We don't need Dredigan going down to like Dragon Claw or Dragon Pulse right away. Alright, good job, Wada. Good one shot. Another Citrus Berry, okay. Max Elixir. That actually is pretty much worth it itself just to come out here. Yeah, there's not a lot of trainers in this area, but there are a few. This area was originally meant to be a, a Keldeo type thing, both in black and white and black and white too. And uh, they just didn't end up going through with it for whatever reason. Shadow Claw. Now, in the gym, I will switch the EXP share back onto Digor. Because we don't want Digor participating in fights with ice types. See, Revenge would have been a good counter to the ice types, except for that you have to go second when you use Revenge. So we would have been opening ourselves up to ice attacks all the time anyway. Let's see if we can just get out of here now. There we go. I do not have a flying Pokemon with me, so I'm going to have to just gut it through here. All right, Digor. Crunch. All right, good hit, Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw again. Getting a little low on health here. All right, we beat it. Again. Shadow Claw it. All right, good hit. Survive the muddy water. Shadow Claw again. There we go. Okay, okay. And we've made it out of there. Which means I need to switch those items back. All right.
All right. <clears throat> Get everything prepared here. And that way, next episode, we can take on the gym. We're getting our 25. Why not? Haven't sold the revives yet. Gonna keep those and sell them right before we go to the Pokemon League. But yeah, I think we've got things set. Let's take a look at our um, our spares here. So we got three spares now. Take that Persim Berry. Oh, that's right, I didn't have a uh, Palpatode or a, um... Come on, Timpole, before. Alright, so that's all our ones we've had go away. Losing uh, Sky hurt a lot, same with uh, Tuger. But uh, we're still doing strong, we got these three in reserve. Which ability did we get? Hydration. Let's see. Synchronize. Torrent. Flame body. Rough skin. Swarm. Which is kind of useless in a Nuzlocke. Kind of like Torrent because we can't use moves of the same type. Unnerve isn't bad. All right, so uh, that that's an episode, everybody. We uh, didn't lose anybody, which is great, and we've all trained some people up, uh, trained some Pokemon up. Now all we gotta do is take on the gym and then Dragon Spiral Tower, uh, which we will try to do one, if not both, of those next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, you know all that YouTube nonsense. And I'll see you next time with another episode of the Pokemon White No Stab Nuzlocke. All right, see you then. Bye-bye.